record all right we've been recording welcome ladies and gentlemen to the culture shock podcast first ever this is the first ever uh episode of this podcast oh i'm super professional <laughs> right i'm already messing up <laughs> already messing up i don't even know my lines all right see you so this is the first episode of the podcast that is a video version that will be up on the Mikey Atlas YouTube channel. The re- the previous three episodes have been audio only. It's because for the previous three episodes, we've been recording them over Discord. And we were going to record them over Discord for this interview with this, my friend. But uh, we decided that we'd rather do a video version and have this on my youtube channel okay so speaking of this lovely man right here introduce yourself uh, you're too kind yeah <laughs> um, introduce yourself. all right how's it going everybody my name is um evan diaz um i've been a very good and long friend of this young fellow over here right across from me and yeah i'm ready to get to this interview this is the first time ever to be on youtube i think yeah first time bro and it's the first time doing a podcast right yeah that too yes so okay excited for that let's let's get in this is a solid one minute and 40 seconds <laughs> all right all right so let's get in to um to this how how long have we known each other how long would you say? Sure. Did we know each other like sixth grade, I think? Since or like sixth, seventh grade around there? Yes. Yeah. I think I'd say sixth grade. Because wasn't it like not PE? It was something else, wasn't it? It wasn't it like history class. Did you have hmm? or avid? Yeah. Maybe avid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had avid seventh grade, I think. Yeah, I only had it for one year. I had avid. Okay. Yeah, I had avid seventh grade, because I remember the whole group was there. It was you, me, it was uh, I think uh, Lillian or that that's her name, right? Lillian. Yes. 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 And, and then th- there was uh, there was you, me, Lillian, and there was Isaiah Brooks. There was yeah you know, Isaiah. Yeah. Also known as Young <laughs> Zay. I'm. I'll try. Young Zay. I'll try to get him on, but uh, I I don't think I know him that well to interview him. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, he's a buddy of mine, but I don't think uh, I've known him long enough to conduct an interview like this. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I feel you. So, um, would you say we've known each other for the better part of eight years? Yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah, because it was 2017. I was we were in seventh grade in 2017, 2017 mm-hmm. to 2018. So, would you say it's better part? Of, it's been it's been a long time. Yeah, it's been a good while. And you've been one of my best friends since then, because we've just. I, I don't think we've gotten into hijinks like a couple of my other friends, but we've we've gone through some stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've yeah. we've gone through a lot of a lot of shit together over the years. Um, mm-hmm. So, uh, to start off this interview, who would you say? Well, I already know the answer to this question because how well I know you. Um, I would say yeah. your favorite basketball player is Blake Griffin because <laughs> yeah. I, I remember I went over to your house. I think I went over to your house twice, right? Two times, two, uh-huh. three times. And I remember you showed me the signed. Uh, the Oh, um, the Blake Griffin jersey. Yeah. yeah. The, the, I still got like, that. Yeah. I, I would assume you do because you, you have it I mean, framed and everything. Oh, yeah. But now, I mean, back then, when I first started to know basketball a little bit more, um, I first knew about 
the Lakers and then when Kobe used to play still. But then afterwards, he kept getting knee injuries and all these type of injuries. And then I stopped watching the Lakers. And then afterwards, I was like, you know what? I think I might even go watch the Clippers just see just to see how how, how they roll. And after that, that's when I saw Blake Griffin, like how high he jumped, uh, the, all the slam dunks and all that stuff. And I was like, sheesh. And I even saw his um his slam dunk contest uh, on the TV when yeah, I was when little. He... On, oh, I don't mean jumped to cut over you that off. car. Yeah, that's what oh, I was no, gonna. That's what I was gonna bring up. I was gonna bring yeah. up when he jumped over the Kia. <laughs> Yeah, bro. That, that I was like, damn, this man got hops, like serious hops. And back then, like I was like, uh, this guy is just seriously. I just admire how how much he could jump and all. But as soon as I started getting older, I mean, yeah. Well, I still like Griffin, but like I still um, observe a whole bunch of other different players. But to say like my my top and my most favorite basketball player is is the goat and michael jordan oh, oh okay all right <laughs> so my assumption yeah. is wrong <laughs> all right all right it's that, all good Back that then, was a yeah. that was a good answer that that was a that was <laughs> that was more of an answer than i i expected i expected a yeah you, hey, man. yeah you know me <laughs> <laughs> well, well it's like it's gonna be a, a music once you start Playing the music, I ain't gonna stop talking. It, it's all, uh, it, it's, um, yeah. This is gonna, this is gonna be a great episode so far. A lot of stuttering, a lot of, uh, 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 uh. all right. Because uh, as far as I know, Griffin got drafted in two thousand nine, right? Was it two thousand nine or two thousand ten? I am not sure about that. I, I haven't seen. Because as far as I know, I he was that. in the same draft class with. Um, with uh steph curry and they oh, both I think so yeah yeah and they both had short hair at the time it was before break uh-huh. before blake uh grew out his locks and then yeah. uh before he he started doing those uh um those uh commercials you remember he th- uh-huh. his series oh, yeah. of kia commercials where he's talking to himself in the past yeah. <laughs> he's like you're gonna yeah. jump over a car one day kid yeah yeah (laughs) those all right so going back to my next question who if you had to if you had the ability to make a lineup of uh any basketball players you want to make a team Mm -hmm. of uh basketball players who would you choose you could choose anyone and whoever you choose is think okay think about this uh, you could choose anyone from any time period, and whoever you choose, they're in their prime of their career. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so first, first off, uh, they got me thinking. I'd probably choose um, for point guard. I'd probably choose Derrick Rose. So it would be Rose MVP, and then for shooting guard. Obviously, go with MJ. Um, for small forward, I think I'd probably have to go with T Mac with that one. And power forward, shoot. Oh, is that, that's a difficult one. I, hey, I only shoot for difficult questions. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I mean, there's a lot of great choices for power forward, but I'd probably have to go with um, what's his name? Uh, Aaron Gordon. Oh, okay. I'd have to go with Aaron Gordon for that one. Center, who'd you choose? Yeah, for center, for center, I'll definitely choose um Shaq. (laughs) (laughs) Beast. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Totally yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I laughed at that, but I, whenever I hear Shaq, I can only think of uh, that joke of him trying to shoot free throws. I, <laughs> oh man! Uh, yeah, that's that's just straight up the truth right there. That and I could just see a picture in my head of him falling, and like you, you know, when he's playing a, when he's in a game, and then he just falls and like rolls over. <laughs> Uh, like I can only see that in my head. 
I know that's doing him dirty, but yeah, you know, all those general commercials are really coming back to haunt him. All right. So oh yeah. We've known each other for a long time. Uh if you remember because I don't particularly remember when we met, but I think we've no. we've, we've known each other. Oh, I was about to say. Dude, you got a story about that? <laughs> uh, let, me, let me see. Let me try and think if I... If I we, we've known each other for a very, very long time. Because we were in, I yeah. think, Miss Rose's class or something like that. that that's what... Yeah, you know, no, that's what I was right? telling you. Then she had an Avid in sixth grade. Oh, wait, was it sixth grade or seventh grade? Yeah, she was for sixth grade. Avid. Oh, okay. Then, um, then, then it was sixth grade. Sixth period. Oh yeah, okay. I remember now. Yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah, damn, that's... we've known each other longer than I thought. <laughs> it's and I and I can't even remember like how it all started. Like if you came up to me to talk or something, or if I just came over, or I, if we were in a group or something. I don't know how it was. I I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I hey, if I could remember, I would tell the story but i don't it's been a very yeah. long time <laughs> yeah no it's been it's been a, a shit it's been quite a, a few years really, yeah it's been quite a few years quite a while <laughs> all right <laughs> so um favorite basketball video game of all time basketball video game i probably have to say um nba 2k19 of all time, think okay. Think of the question I just asked. Of all time, you could choose any game ever. Oh, any game? Any bat? Any NBA game ever? It just has to have NBA in the title. Oh shoot, my bad. That that was a brain fart right there. <laughs> that was a default answer. <laughs> yeah. Um. I probably have to say. Um, there's a lot of great games that, that happened over the years. Like, like when the most recent, like when the Cavs came up um, from the 3-1 three, three, losing mm -hmm. streak for the playoffs, that was all, all those were pretty good ones. Or when that, that time when Kyrie hit the sidestep three on Steph. Oh, dude. That was a good one. Or, or even the sidestep that Damian Lillard had the most recent one with um, the Thunder. I think when was it? Two years ago. It might have been two, maybe even three years ago. Three years ago. It was a, it was a long time ago. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. But then there's like a whole bunch of other great ones that I can't even think of off the top of my head right now. But there's a whole lot of great ones. Favorite. Okay, for this question, you can choose any nba video game of all time right mm. and think of all the games that they've had <laughs> any nba video game of all time they just it just needs to have nba in the title mm -hmm. favorite nba video game of all time well um we didn't really have much games when we were older i mean when we were younger yeah, growing up yeah, um, but we had a Wii, and we used to play, I think, NBA Live. I'm not sure what it was, like, oh, 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 09, I think it was, the 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 title on it, NBA Live 09. Bro, the graphics were so messed up. <laughs> they were so, like, so bad. But we, back back in the day, it was, like, top-notch, and then we were all playing it, um, having a little mini slam dunk contest with, you know, the controller just flipping yeah, it around, yeah. you know, uh -huh. and doing the three-point contest, and even playing the game, too. It used to be fun, but, um, yeah, that's that's the one that, the one that I like. All right, so next question is we've since we've both talked about this in the past how we're you're gonna end up being a basketball player because you from what i've seen you fucking you, you kill it dude i've seen your Thank max you. i've seen your max peps the, 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 the max preps page 
and you fucking you kill it, dude. Thank you. I mean, trust me, I've I've had so many downfalls. I mean, in mainly I'd say like my most successful year in high school was probably my ninth grade year, even though I went out with having an, a very, very tough ankle injury during the game. I'd, I'd say that my freshman year was probably the best year like I've ever had. And then afterwards, it was a lot of, I'd say, in like going to varsity as a fresh, I mean, a sophomore really was a little challenging. I mean, didn't get much playing time. And then really like, just to be very truthful, our, our school, our school ain't the best at, at basketball. I, I, um, to be honest, uh, I don't mean to cut you off. I'm sorry, but it's all good. To to be honest, our school isn't the best at like much. <laughs> at really, anything, really anything. Yeah, at anything. I mean, at, we we have signed kind of an okay football team. That's yeah. until that's until we face Citrus Hill and then they murder us. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And then. But continue on to your story. Oh. Uh, you went, you went varsity as a sophomore. Okay, and so after that, it was just like a whole bunch of hard lessons that I had to learn about um, the coaching and all. And actually, I think my sophomore year as a varsity player, I still got very great playing time, but the coaching wasn't never. It, it was never. It's like I hated it. It it was bad, and every time I'd come home after like a tough loss or something and then I'll tell my dad like like what like like what what's my coach doing and all I mean it doesn't make sense what he's doing and like he would sometimes even the thing that frustrated me the most is that he would put me in sometimes when when there was like I'd say a minute or something left and that would get me frustrated because like what am I gonna do with the minute just run up and down and and then there was no really connection with us and the players Everybody just wanted the ball for themselves. No, no team sharing or anything. And then I, that's how I wasn't really raised up to play because, you know, back then growing up, um, playing at Valley Wide, that was probably one of the best days that, that I ever liked to play in Valley Wide against, against um, some people I knew from school and then some other people I did not know at all. But now I know even better that, that uh, they even play it with me on the same team. But it's just... It's just a whole learning process and how the things are going out right now. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, I, I make a good life out of, out of basketball. But, I mean, it's also important to, to learn other things. Not always just be focused on, on don't have tunnel like vision. they say, tunnel vision. Yeah, exactly. yeah, tunnel vision. Yeah, you got to be looking all around everywhere. You got to be on top of the hill scouting everywhere to, to see what else is interesting out there and what else do you have to explore. All right, so that was a, that was a hell of a good story. That was how you feel, man, because you sound like you got a lot off of your chest there. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. So, um, about that, but yeah, I actually have to sit down for like a full hour and listen to me. I was kidding. Yeah, <laughs> have Dude, to listen that, to it sometimes, that, but that's what that's what I'm shooting for. I'm shooting for at least an hour podcast or longer. It depends. Yeah. It all depends on when the conversation ends naturally, because I'm my main okay. thing is I'm just trying to have um, have my interviews be uh, very. I want them to flow like a conversation. I don't want to. I don't want us to like kill time and be like oh 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 oh. You know what I'm saying? I don't want us to be. Yeah, no. I- we're going to be structured, but it's going to be a free flowing conversation. It's not going to be like a, oh, yeah, shit, no, you. you know, because, yeah. and I'm trying my entire goal with each episode I do of this podcast, I am trying to have my guests feel comfortable more than anything. Yeah. I want them to feel comfortable. And I'm pretty comfortable. I'm not comfortable. How, how, how you feeling? How you feeling, dog? <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good. Because uh, if the guest doesn't feel comfortable doing the podcast, then I don't know what I'm doing this for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It all depends on what the guest wants. If uh, 
it, and on what the listeners want. If they want, you know, if they want me to interview this person, I'm going to try to secure the interview. So at this point, the podcast yeah, hasn't yeah. been released yet. And this will, believe it or not, this will be the first episode of the podcast that is uh, released on YouTube. Nice. The nice. other one. So technically, this will be the first uh, pod podcast episode that has ever been released because I'm mm -hmm. right now I'm still working on uh, like setting up a Spotify page for uh, my podcast for the culture shock. So I can okay. uh, yeah. release the um, interviews that I already have done. Mm -hmm. So uh, this will be, I mean, yeah, this is cool. And, you know, I'm just trying to make it yeah, as favorable as I can and try to make people as yeah. comfortable as possible. Hey, you know, that's one thing that I hate sometimes when, when I'll be talking to somebody, like, I ask them a question and then I know where they're like, mm -hmm. yeah. And that's all they, and I was like, that's all you have to say after everything I said. Be like, bro. <laughs> like, that, that frustrates me that, that I'm trying I'm trying to get the flow started, and then it's just like boom, another boulder, boom, another it, barrier, it, it boom, just, something else. Yeah, it just stops. Yeah, and I also to, don't to want to be me, like. Continue. Oh, I was just saying, like, just like you know, speak to me, just like, you know, normally, just like let let it flow out, like you know, I mean, just make the conversation, just like how we would face to face. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, this is the best we can do under the circumstances. So, I mean, you yeah, know no. what? Yeah. It, it's cool. You know what I mean? It works. Yeah. Yeah. It works. So, uh, this is the first time I've seen you, like, face-to-face, -face, well, technically face-to-face -face in oh, a year, maybe? Better part of a year? uh no nah, i i wouldn't say a year a little less than a year but uh, it's been a good while it's been or what would you say time. like six to eight months maybe because like since school yeah kind of you know shut down yeah somewhere around there oh, yeah. school is another thing we're going to talk about school is fucking strange dude uh, school being on the computers it's super whew, it's it's really weird that all gets me in a habit that I want to get out of, out of the house even more. And we even have like some brand new bikes. So we even go, me and my brothers go strolling down the street somewhere and just going around all the town, you know, and just enjoying the evening, enjoying the, the breeze. And bro, talking about the breeze, like there's been some beautiful weather. It's so cool. Or, uh, yeah, cool. It's been, yeah, it's been in good, it's been in good condition right now. So, and you're trying not, not to go cold, stir not crazy, high, but you're trying not to go stir crazy yeah. in the house. At first, at first, at first, I thought I was gonna go crazy being um in the house and all that. But after that, I you know I started cooling down because my dad made it seem he talked to us. It made it seem like there was a zombie apocalypse going on <laughs> outside. So I was all scared. I was like, like what, what, like what the hell am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to carry a knife or something with me around? <laughs> Or like always be like aware or like something's gonna happen to me. And then afterwards, for the first time, he sends me since the pandemic happened, I haven't been out the house. And then he sent me to go to State Brothers to get something. And this was before I had my driver's license and all. I still have mm -hmm. my permit. And so I drive to State Brothers, I get in there and I'm really nervous. Like, what am I gonna expect? Like, you know, what are they gonna like pat me down or something? Or like yeah. you know, <laughs> Uh, clean me up with the air and like, be like some like, resident evil hand apocalypse hand. Like, <laughs> yeah exactly but afterwards i saw that and then i came home and i was like oh, it's not that bad and then and then they're like yeah you see i told you and i was like i mean you made it seem scarier like if it was like the whole world was going to end or something so like, dude you remember when uh like all of this first started and because we were still in school at the time and everything was quote unquote normal i use normal yeah. because that's the way it used to be when like yeah. this was before everybody turned into a germaphobe 
and everybody was like like we'd still you know high five and everything and that was normal but now yeah. we nobody nah it doesn't doesn't happen everybody uses fucking everybody washes their hands every 15 seconds you know yeah and you know that's one thing i never understood about like why do people wear masks for if it was just me like like couldn't you just stay home instead yeah like, so so you won't get everybody else infected so we won't have to wear a mask outside but it, it just feels better being like without a mask because i literally feel like i'm suffocating sometimes just having the mask and it feels it feels it feels old like i would say like trap and like i can't like i told you like i can't breathe and all that stuff so so uh yeah but yeah uh, i would say it because like I, it was back in january of last year um yeah because it was after i remember it was after i turned 17 it was because it was supposed to be spring break you remember it was like march or some shit huh. like that right and yeah. uh it was march or something like that and uh we were all in we were all juniors back then and uh mm -hmm. what happened was it was when it was really starting to like i mean we knew about it but it really didn't yeah, but yeah. it was all the way in like China and all that stuff, so it was like nothing to worry about. It it, it was really like, far. It's not gonna get over here. It it was really far away, and then like they was like, oh, I remember it was Friday the thirteenth. Like legitimately, the day uh -huh. was Friday the thirteenth, and it was raining outside. <laughs> I remember the day specifically. Yeah. Oh shoot! It was Friday the thirteenth. It was raining outside, and then. uh we were going to go on like a two week, like mandatory uh, break or a hiatus or whatever the hell you call it. Right. Because of uh, COVID. Yeah. So when, when it all started and then that two weeks turns into a month and then that month turns into two months, turns into three months, turns into a year, turns into we're graduate, turns yeah. into we're, uh, gonna have to finish off our junior year online and then we're gonna have to i don't really do any any of that crap any of that crap that the teacher sent they're like oh no you don't have to do this i mean and we're still adjusting and all that and i was like hell no i ain't gonna do none of this so i never did none of that and it was like a better break like that in addition note to my summer vacation for the uh junior year but sorry for cutting you off uh, yeah hey, it's, it's all right man so you did nothing for the remainder of your junior year you did not you didn't do squat no <laughs> and i finished and i finished off school great and it still finished off how i was because if i remember and all the other teachers were saying if i remember correctly oh go ahead sorry because the one thing i don't want to do is talk over my guest but um if I remember correctly, they would assign work and be like, this will not affect your grade. And yeah, th exactly. that made so me I never think, did it. That made me think. If you're going to assign it and it doesn't affect our grade, why the fuck did you assign it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I understand teachers are just so, trying to do their never... jobs, but you know what I'm saying? Fuck. Yep, and I don't want this to be an hour bashing on teachers because I got I got some friends that are teachers. So, I, uh, oh. when the um when the whole COVID stuff started, and then we had we had to take that break off school, right? After like when that happened, I believe it or not, I got a job. <laughs> like I was uh I was working with my dad and uh since he's a mechanic okay i was working with my dad and i was yeah. like every day i was changing tires i was uh i was doing oil changes i was delivering stuff i was you know i was all around i know all about building engines tearing down engines 
I learned a lot in that. All right. Four. It was a four month period. I learned a lot in that four that month time period. frame. Yeah, in that time frame. Yeah. And then, uh, I would say, holy shit, we're already at thirty minutes. How does that make you feel? Oh, bro. We already. That's fine. I didn't even know that. Was yeah. <laughs> we're already at the thirty minute mark. Do you? By the way, do you do you edit these videos? Like, do you do something to them, or just put them on the YouTube and that's it? This is uh, the first video, technical, technically first video podcast that I've done. Uh-huh. So uh, obviously, I'm gonna go in and like I think the only editing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the YouTube editor and after it processes, I'm gonna because I don't have an intro or anything. So what I'm gonna do okay. is I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I do with all my YouTube videos. I add uh ending cards so it'd be like best video suit for viewer then the channel and then the playlist and all that stuff okay but uh if i were to edit these videos you need, I, you need I, to come up with your own mark man you need to come up with your own mark what you mean oh with your own intro or something you know what i mean like i, I, mean, I mean you kind of you somewhat have your logo ready right yeah, but do you mean? I mean, I already have the intro for the uh, the podcast, but I don't have an intro for my YouTube videos because all I do for the videos is I just stream. Those are just YouTube streams, and I can't yeah. edit. Like I can't okay. edit them because they're streaming directly from my PS4, okay. and I have to wait twenty four hours for them to process. So I'm not okay. allowed to edit them while they're processing. So I figured, you know what, the gotcha. streams, the streams look good enough. They'll be fine. Uh, all I need to do is yeah. add like ending cards and like timestamps, depending on what I'm talking about. So it's a relatively simple editing uh, you know, process. Okay, okay. So what's it called? Now let me ask you a question real quick. Yeah, go ahead. So, <laughs> so. Since you mentioned that mechanic, um, what are you trying to do anything specifically on that? Like go to college for that or any type of engineering that gets your eye? No, it was just something I did to kill time. Okay. It it was nice, nice. It was it was a cool opportunity I had. I have no aspirations of becoming a mechanic or anything. But because as far as yeah, because as you know. I'm training to be a pro, uh, professional wrestler, and I'm going to be on TV. Of course. Of course. I knew that. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, you, you've known me for a while. Have I never talked about this? <laughs> yeah, of course you did. Because <laughs> uh, from, not to throw any disrespect, but from how you're sounding, it sounds like I've never talked about this before. <laughs> No, no, uh, you have talked about it. It's still, it's still in the, how you say it? Still in the noggin. Still, still in, in the, the noggin. Yep. Yes. All right. I still got it. So, because as, as you know, I was wrestling in high school and I, yes. I can't wrestle anymore. <laughs> Why not? Because it's the same reason you can't play basketball, bro. Because of COVID. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, all that. Yeah. Shoot. Uh, yeah, it, it's weird. All right. Mm-hmm. So, uh, to rebounds, haha, rebound basketball jokes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, what I'm pretty sure, I don't know if I've told you this, but my plan after high school. Is I'm gonna I've talked about this on the podcast before. On the last episode, I went way in depth and talked about it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to after high school, I'm gonna move to Arizona. Okay. Because there is a special effects makeup school that's maybe 10, 15. It's like where it is, it's kind of like Hemet and San Jacinto. You know how like they're like ten, they're, the towns are like right next to each other. 
from where okay. I'm going to live yeah. and where that school is. It's like it's like a Hemet and San Jacinto situation. So like they're okay. right, they're like right next to each other, and then right next to yeah. right next to there is uh, there's a pro wrestling school that uh, will teach me how to be a professional wrestler, and okay, probably around 15 minutes away from that school, there is a wrestling promotion mm-hmm. that has a TV show. Nice. Like they have a closed circuit TV show in Arizona. That's some good stuff right there. That it it, it airs on cl- closed circuit television on Saturdays. So Ooh. once I sign, if I end up in that promotion, I'm gonna mm-hmm. like I'm gonna have I'm gonna make sure I get cable, and I'm gonna make sure my brothers are home or someone's yeah. home, and they record it. And like they send it to me because I'm going to post that stuff or post that shit. And then I'm going to too. like, I'm going to post it on my social media and be like, I made it on TV. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to add it oh, to my yeah. tapes and my portfolio for wrestling and all that stuff. All right. Nice. Nice. So sooner yeah, or later. Unfortunately, can, can unfortunately for me, I still, I still haven't had any any um offers or scholarships or anything to go to to go to college for anybody so and i still have to look into like applying and all that stuff so it's a whole it's a whole mess that i have to look into the whole college situation is just a whole mess from top to bottom (laughs) yeah yeah all of it and then i'm kind of like i'm still trying to do my research but i'm still kind of like worried that i'm not i don't want to go into um college and then just be in debt forever yeah that that's why i'm doing that that's what my uh my first thought is because did you fill out the fafsa i don't even know what that is it helps you pay for college okay yeah that's that's the whole point of that it's it's a part of our senior project bro Your English teacher should be uh, ta- talking to you about this. Senior projects? She hasn't even told me anything about senior projects, even though right now you just told me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you find out live on the podcast about senior projects. Uh, yeah. Um, Damn. My, my no, teacher has been... because you know Miss Rojas? Yes, I know Miss Rojas. She hasn't even told me nothing about that. So, I mean, she's... She left already because she's pregnant and she's in labor. So. Oh yeah. But. But yeah, she you're supposed to be doing about that, and I haven't got any email either. <laughs> you you gotta talk to your counselors, man, because uh, as far because I've been doing along with my English class, we've been doing a senior project for like the last maybe six months. Yeah, we haven't done anything about that. I haven't done anything about it. it well, you get get on it, man. I, yeah, I know. I, I think it's funny that you find out about this live on the podcast, but um, I th- the only reason I say that is because I thought you already knew. <laughs> nope, I, I forgot. I completely forgot about that. But <laughs> but the cool thing is, uh, going back to uh, college. Since what I'm gonna do is what sucks about going to college is I'm going to have to leave California since I, I'm yeah. going to, I mean, I'm going to move, but it's only going to be like a, maybe four, it's a four hour drive from California to Arizona. Mm. So I'll be four mm-hmm. hours, I'll be four hours away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to get, to get what you want, you sometimes got to sacrifice some good things and, I mean, doing that is probably going to get you where you want. So, I mean, all I can say is just go for it, you know? I'd, I'd consider this my, because uh, you know Ozzy Osbourne, right? Um, the, um, the musician, Ozzy Osbourne? No, I haven't, I haven't said I can hear of him. Uh, I'm, I, I thought I talked about him in the past. I'm pretty sure I've talked about a lot of musicians in the past. Yeah, you probably you probably did. 
Shoot, it doesn't ring a bell. He, he's the guy that did Crazy Train. Nah, bro. Sorry. He he he's no. the guy that sings Crazy Train. He's got the no. round glasses on and then the long black hair. No, I, he's got that kind no. of pitched voice. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. Anyway. All right. I'll show you after the podcast is over. We're 40 minutes and 50, 40 minutes and 20 seconds in. All right. So favorite movie of all time. Damn, man. I got too <laughs> many. I seriously got too many. Fine, then give me a top but five. Top five, shoot. That's not even enough. <laughs> You have to give me like a top 100, then I'll give you the whole list. <laughs> We're going to be here all day if you do that, man. Um, I'd probably have to say, uh, that this is not like my, I'm not going down like a one, two, three, four, five, like ranking them, but in my top five, I'd probably say one of them would be Ford versus Ferrari. Um, Another one would be Den, Den of Thieves. And another, it's, it's a kid movie, but I, I, I liked it when I watched it when I was little. It's called Spirit. It's, yeah, have you ever heard of that? Yeah, I, I've, I've heard of it. Of oh, the horse. Um, damn. Yeah, I feel like I should have uh, sent you these questions because we're killing. Yeah, we're, I, should, we're I kill- could have for this because we're we're killing time here and we're looking to go another twenty minutes or at least nineteen more minutes. So because we're trying to hit an right. hour here, but yeah, all right. favorite. Um, since I know that last time I went over to your house, which was mm. how long ago would you say that was? At least six months ago, maybe. Was it during last year? I don't think we met last year in my house. Because I remember, I remember the beginning, the beginning mm-hmm. of the year. We didn't see us see each other, and then COVID hit, and then you weren't allowed. So I'd say, yeah, more. So it, it was that, it was in twenty nineteen. Yeah, twenty nineteen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, been it's, it's been over a year, dude. Yeah. Shit. Uh-huh. Wow. All right. So uh last time I went over to your house, like legitimately all all we ever do at your house is lift weights and play video games. <laughs> yeah. Like that's it. Yeah. Cuz uh I think yeah, th- dude, those are some of the best pumps I've ever gotten. You, yeah. you fucking killed me. <laughs> huh. Well, that's and what I'm here for. I, I would, that's like, what I do. Like, dude, my arm, what happened after both times was my arms were sore for like two days. Like, I couldn't move my arms at all for two fucking days <laughs> afterward. Each time. Hey, that means that means it's working. That means it worked. Yeah, because um, anyway, we... Uh, what we would do is we'd we'd uh we'd lift like we'd I'd say hi to your parents and like I think I met your dad last year too, right? Yeah, I think so. Didn't I didn't I know your mom prior to that or I think so, yeah. Cause yeah. I, I remember I met your dad and then your other little brother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and like your family's yeah. cool as fuck, man. Y'all, y'all, some chill people. Anyway, uh, thank you, thank you. We, I remember I met, like I went to your house, then like I met everybody. I was like, oh hi, hello, how you doing? How you doing? And then, uh, like I kept thinking in my head when I was meeting these people was, don't fuck it up, don't fuck it up, don't fuck it up. <laughs> I was like, don't fuck yeah. it up. You got something good going here. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh i think i did a pretty good job <laughs> yeah yeah uh i still even i tell them like oh do you remember seth and i like, came over and all that and yeah they still remember me pretty good 
So, so I, I think I did a good job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you did. It was pretty good. And then we had a good hangout and a good turnout after that. So, Because I remember the first time I went to your house, we, I'm like, I met everybody. We lifted weights, right? I think, yeah, yeah we, we lifted weights. We did bench press and all that. And then didn't we do like some, we did, we, we like pulled the mats out and then we did, we started, yeah, we did some wrestling. Yeah. We started rolling. We, I, I taught you how to wrestle. Mm-hmm. I, I, cause yeah, I, a little bit, yeah. I remember I taught you how to do a double leg takedown. You remember that? Uh, no, it's too long ago. I, I probably don't remember anymore. It, like, I remember, but I like, just, I've been getting into that. C- continue. I would get into that aspect of um of boxing now, boxing and and a little bit of MMA too, and those you know those those locks that they usually do like the arm bar or the the the, the, the chicken triangle. wing. Oh, you know those the, the chicken yeah. wing. Oh yeah, because I remember I uh, yeah like I taught you how to do a wrestling stance. Well, like we pulled out the mats and I taught you how to do a wrestling stance. I taught you how to do a a shot taught you how to do a single leg takedown a double leg takedown and i taught you how to do transitions i taught you all if we had a bigger space that's the only thing we needed yeah that would that would have been a whole like then we would have fucking went all out with some brock lesnar style shit Mm -hmm. but (laughs) but unfortunately i'm no longer i am not as skilled or as freakly genetic as Brock Lesnar is because that man is something different anyway oh, yeah. anyway uh, we I taught you the wrestling stuff and then I remember like we did some uh, we did some jujitsu too we did uh, mm-hmm. we did a rear naked choke and then other holds like that, I remember that one. yeah and all I remember is those workouts. You fucking murdered me, man. It, like my arms, <laughs> my arms are permanently bigger because I mean, my arms. I think they've gotten smaller because I haven't been able to get any into any contact with any like lifting equipment in a yeah. really long time. But but you, on the other hand, have gotten huge. You, on the other hand, you're fucking yoke. Like, you're a whoosh, whoosh, Bro, big boy. I'll, I'll send you I'll send you a, a picture that I did a before and after. I I took a picture when I was in my freshman year. And I was, like, about, like, 6 foot, 5'11", somewhere around there. And I weighed a good 150 or so, somewhere around there. Something like that. And... Then I took a picture now, and I weigh one seventy seven, and I'm six two now. So oh, you're one inch. If you see that difference you. in the picture, oh, you're one inch taller than me. You can see the difference though. Like, mm-hmm. Dang, the drastic difference in the glow up. All right. Yeah. So to transition, what I'm gonna do in college is I am going to school for. Uh, you know how I like horror movies. I've talked about it a lot on this show, yeah. actually. We and like I've talked to you about it. How I'm like, oh, dude, you have to check out this movie because it's kick ass. There's, there's such good shit yeah. in it. So, um, anyway, you know the effects in the movies where like there's head explosions or like if there's like blood on somebody's face. That's mm-hmm. what I'm going to school for. I'm going to school to learn how to make those monsters and like make those head explosions and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that looks like it would be a pretty fun. Yeah. So what I told my brother, be an expert on Halloween. Hell yeah, dude. That'd be the best. That'd be the best <laughs> Halloween party you've ever gone to. Fucking go to the back, come out yeah. of the bathroom, come face to face with Frankenstein. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, mm-hmm. yeah. like, dude, that that'd be that'd be hilarious. 
anyway, uh, and equally as creepy, it would scare the shit out of people. It would, because mm-hmm. you're not expecting to come out of the bathroom after you've done your business to come face to face with Frankenstein. You know what I mean? Or uh, yeah. a creature from the Black Lagoon, or like Michael Myers. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Now you can start doing pranks for for your YouTube after that. Yeah, but I would do that. But uh, I think like those prank YouTube channels, uh, is, they they're not your nah, style. They they're they're not. That's not my gig, man. They're speaking of uh, mm. pr- you know what I mean? Because I I'm not good mm-hmm. at that. Doesn't that doesn't fit my flow? That doesn't suit you. Yeah, yeah. I. Plus, I think doing pranks on people are, are stupid. I mean, the far, the furthest I'll go mm-hmm. is, you know, I'll put a whoopee cushion under it, on a, under under a fucking uh, on a chair. That's that's the furthest I'll go. Yeah, I'll take a whoopee cushion under a chair, mm-hmm. you know, and then that's that's as far as I go mm-hmm. in in terms of pranks. But um, speaking of uh, pranks and prank YouTube channels, did you hear about that dude that? Uh, for the he ran a prank youtube channel at the time why i say at the time is because i don't know if he runs it anymore because he's dead (laughs) but Uh uh there is that dude he pulled a prank on this one guy like he pulled a knife on him right for the prank he pulled a knife on the guy and then the guy he pulled the knife on pulled out a gun and shot the guy four times and it was all caught on video too. Yeah. Yeah, there was a similar situation where um, do you know this guy that always says like I'm Tyrone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that guy that guy's pretty funny. Yeah, the dude. Yeah. Yeah, the dude came up to like someone like that and they he, he got the, in the same situation. This guy pulled out a gun on him and shot him I think three times. I think one in the shoulder and then two somewhere else. But I know it was one in the shoulder and the guy in Tyrone just dropped and then he had to go to the hospital after that. See, that's why. And that's why if you pull pranks on people, you're going to get your comeuppance, man. Because most of the time mm-hmm. for those prank YouTube channels, like the pranks are completely fake because they they talk to whoever they're pranking before then. Like they, they're like, okay, we're gonna do this, and you're gonna act scared, and it's, it's not yeah. good. It's terrible. Yeah. It's um, I don't want to throw any shade, but it, it's terrible acting. <laughs> no, that's, that's how you just have to say it straight up. Yeah, it's it's some it's some porn level acting. It's terrible, man. They're they're like, oh, <laughs> they're like, oh, is that a pumpkin? Oh, you know, like. <laughs> I mean, obviously, it's a pumpkin. You're staring right at it. Like, they just they just act like idiots, straight up. Yeah, people are stupid. Anyway, uh, so if you ever come over to my house, you're gonna see, um, like, if you open a fridge, you're gonna see a couple of heads, like not human heads, of course, <laughs> but they're gonna be sculpted. Yeah, no. After legit human heads, because I told my brother I was gonna take uh-huh. a picture. I was going to take a picture of his head and then like sculpt it and put it in the fridge so he can open it one day and be like, Oh, fuck my head's in the fridge. (laughs) (laughs) So yeah. um, I'm going to go to school for that makeup. Cause I'm going to go, I'm going to go to college for four years. The makeup course is a two year course. And then I have two years to fill after that. So for those remaining two years i'm gonna go for something in the film industry like film editing or uh screenwriting or something because as you know i'm i'm into multiple ventures i'm i'm doing my youtube stuff i'm doing this podcast and i'm also writing i already i also wrote a uh i wrote a music album that i haven't done anything with i wrote an entire I wrote like maybe four or five songs. It's more of an EP than anything else. It's, it's not like an, it's more of an EP of like four or five songs. 
and then I'm also writing a horror movie because like I've I've always wanted to and I I thought of some pretty cool death yeah. scenes that would be cool in a movie and okay I've also uh I'm doing the YouTube stuff and I'm also going to do this wrestling thing so I got my hands in multiple cookie jars <laughs> yeah no that's good keep the mind busy I'm always keeping myself busy the only downtime I have is when I sleep Yeah, it's all eat, 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 eat. It's just gotta boom, work hard. boom, boom, man. Because after, because mm-hmm. what we did after going back to when I went over to your house, what we did was we lifted, and then we did the wrestling thing, and then uh, I remember we didn't have, yeah, we didn't have protein shakes. We we drank water or something like that. We, we did something after that, and then we. Uh, I, I remember I came over to your house right before uh, your mom was like starting to make food. And then like, I remember we ate some food and your mom made some pretty, pretty good ass food, dude. Like that was some good yeah. shit. And then like, I went Thank home. You. Thank you. I'll let her know. <laughs> like both times that uh, I think I came over and then your mom was making food. Both times it was yeah. it was really good, dude. It was some good shit. Thank and you. so your mom's a really good cook. <laughs> it's All always right. good stuff here. Always. Yeah, always intelligent stuff. It's not like we're trying to kill time or anything. We are 56 minutes, 42 seconds, or 44 seconds in. So how do you feel so far? Good, good, pretty good. A little, <laughs> my butt's starting to hurt a little bit. Because but... <laughs> we're, uh, you're sitting in a chair, right? Same as me, we're all sitting. Yeah. At, during the closing, for the closing minutes, because we're shooting for an hour here, but it's probably not going to be an hour. But anyway, uh, the um, as we're closing here, it's been cool talking to you, man. We should we should oh, do yeah. this more often. Yeah, always. Yeah. No, it's Maybe. It, it's been a good while since we have a good talk like this. Since we've actually sat down and had a conversation. Yeah, and we got a whole lot to say. You know, all that time spent. You know, a lot of things happen. Yeah, a lot of a lot of shit goes through your head, and you know, a lot of stuff happens. Mm-hmm. And do you still have that exactly. art that um art class that they that I ended up getting dropped from? I don't know. I I got out of that class quick. <laughs> so after I left, you left too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. No. And I think that's the only elective that there was. And then after I was like, nope, nope, switch me out, switch me out, because I ain't trying to do art. So they switched me out real quick. And after that, I was. Just doing some other things. So, so what are you doing now for six period? <laughs> for six period now, well, they they have um economics for me because it runs like this. I have first I have um anatomy, then I have English, weight training. Weight training must be um, weird, dude. Wood shop. Oh yeah, no, it's weird. <laughs> It's weird as hell. Doing jumping jacks Wait, on a computer? I mean, <laughs> no, so I'm not, I don't think a lot of people do it at all. And I know the coaches probably um, think the same thing. But, but you know that the effort that they put in is, is great because, you know, I mean, teaching during this time is, is a little hard, too. It's, you because know, all the, all the things it's a you first. have to put technology and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's mm-hmm, a first. Exactly. So we're still, yeah, tra- so we're still that's trying how- to adjust. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So. So we've been going for 59 minutes and 26 seconds. Uh, do you want to plug anything like any of your social medias or anything? As we as we wrap up, uh, what do you mean plug? Oh, like just say just say your social medias like be like, OK, follow me here at oh, this okay. or, you know, 
You know how a podcast works. Uh, I'm new mean, to this. I'm new to this, man. I, I mean, I this. I know this is your first episode, but you know, I I uh, I thought. Never mind. Okay, can you plug plug yourself? <laughs> All right. So you guys go follow me on on Instagram. Um, uh, my Instagram is Evdilo E V D I L O zero two, and yeah. On YouTube, I will put his Instagram in the description. So that's going to be good for you guys. And I'll let you know when the video uploads. So. All right. We've done this for an hour now. So as we wrap up, I say thank you for joining me, my friend. It's been a really good talking to you. and It's been a pleasure. Yeah, yeah it's, as always. Uh, thank you for love talking coming on. like this yeah it's oh yeah no problem i mean i wish we could do this in person we, we planned this for a pretty good while yeah i i remember uh yeah i'm gonna go into a different episode about the origins of my podcast but um anyway uh we've been trying to do this for a while now and finally we have the we had the ability to do it so thank you for joining me i appreciate it and if you ever want to come back Absolutely. just let me know man Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Again, we'll have to do this again. Yeah, just just give me a notice, man. Cause so I can get some questions oh, ready. Yeah. And it could be a whole right. lot more and, professional. And, and, and I can get some answers ready too. Yeah. <laughs> so I can get some answers ready too. Uh, but you know, that's that's a good part about this. So all right. Yeah. We'll see you guys next time. See you later. All right.